Welcome back. So now we have created two methods in our project. One is draw line, the other one is draw M text. In this uh, video, we're going to create a circle. So let us create the method name. Let's call this as draw circle. Let's provide the command method and this let's just call this as draw circle as well okay so <coughs> as same as before we need to have a document db and editor object and transaction and try catch block so let's do that very quickly dim doc as document equals application that document manager that MDI active document dim DB as database equals doc database dim editor as editor equals doc editor and then <coughs> next is to create the transaction using trans as transaction equals db the transaction manager that start transaction okay and then with the try catch block edt that write message error encountered plus the message of the error and abort the transaction okay so let us provide the user a, a message in the command prompt edt that write message we are drawing a circle okay and of course we need the block table and bt should be equals to trans dot get object from the database that block table id and the open mode is for read also we need the block table record and the btr should be we derive from the transaction get object bt block table record that model space open mode that for write next so we specify the circles parameter so let's just provide here a comment specify the circles parameters you remember the comments right just type in the single quote or uh, apostrophe here and then this will be treated as comment so what are the parameters of the circle the first one is the center point another one is the radius so those are the two that we need to create so let's create the center point first so let let us call this a center pt that's also a point uh, 3d equals new point 3d let's just put that in x100 and y100 z is zero and next we need to determine the radius so let's call that as circle rod and that should be a double let's just uh, make the radius as 100 and using the using construct using a CIR this will be our variable for the circle as circle equals new circle 
we can provide here the parameters but we can also declare it in here like the CIR that radius equals a circle rod and the CIR that the uh, center or the center point equals our center PT here okay and then same drill we have to append into our block table record the circle variable and of course add into the transaction add newly db created object and the circle variable and true and then we have to commit it that's it so I hope by now it should already be uh, very common to you that these are the building blocks of creating any uh, AutoCAD objects declare the needed variables document database and editor for messaging and of course the block table and the block table record then for the specific object that you want to create identify what are the parameters and just declare them and apply accordingly then don't forget to append into the block table record and add into the transaction alright so let us save our code and then do another rebuild okay we encounter some error here in the rebuild we've seen this before the reason behind this was that our AutoCAD is still open we should close this uh, AutoCAD first before we can do a rebuild because the the previous DLL that we've created is already loaded in AutoCAD and we have modified it so it ha it cannot be uh, loaded anymore in AutoCAD it has to be cleared first then load a new a compiled version okay so let's do a rebuild there you go no more error and now we can open our AutoCAD here okay so now we can load our plugin net load this is the plugin that we just built open and click on always load so we should now have a method called draw circle let us see there you go yeah here is our message drawing a circle let's uh, zoom extends to see the circle there it is and let's also try the draw line from the first method that we've created it's still there and draw M text yep okay so this is just very simple now it's becoming more uh, repetitive already but you get the point we almost have similar code structure the only thing that changes is basically in here this one here this is specific to the objects that uh, we are creating but the rest almost the same of course the message you have to change respectively okay so in the next video we're going to draw uh, another uh, object type I'll see you there